begin this next few minutes, uh, we'll spend together with beginning with the end in sight. I'm going to share my final statement with you, and it goes like this. Thank you for never forgetting. Thank you for being a part of a community that will forever be poised to remember the lives lost on September 11th, 2001. It's not only because our community leaders had vision enough to establish a great memorial like this in remembrance. It's because our community has an admirable sense of pride. Pride in many, many areas, but remembrance and reflection are at our very core. This time of year, our community's remembrance is expressed in many different ways. We got to see many of them today. It's a great day in the public safety family to be remembered. We had invitations to church events. We took numerous cards delivered to the firehouses and, and police stations with uh, condolences. There were plenty of deliveries of food, baked goods, tons of tours, invitations to speak at different events throughout the community, countless handshakes, <clears throat> excuse me, countless handshakes, and various activities that were sponsored by local civic groups. I spoke over this same plaza on Saturday to the folks that participated in the Run to Remember put on by our local Rotary Club. I started to discuss my journey as I sought the perfect story to share with them. You know, it takes a lot of time and effort to put this stuff together, and as I pre prepped for my speech, I began to see some significance in a lot of numbers. I'm a numbers person. The words from the race that I shared aren't really significant today. They were Saturday. But the numbers certainly are. So stick with me for a few of these. They're very significant. 2,977 people died on September 11th. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking number. Since, two, since September 11th, several first responders have lost their lives due to 9-11 related illnesses and diseases. Throat cancers, severe respiratory disease. When I say several... I mean that it's anticipated that by the end of this month, the number of first responders only that have lost their lives from this thing called 9-11 disease will surpass the number that died on September 11, 2011. Sorry, 2001. That's, that's devastating. That's just the tip of the iceberg. You know, there's one part that we haven't really talked about, and I reflect upon the soldiers killed on the battlefield. Soldiers that sacrificed their lives for our freedom. I don't know if anybody saw him speak today or not at the Pentagon, but Vice President Pence today shared that we've lost 7,000 soldiers on the battlefield since 